In this lesson, we learn how to find the angle between two vectors. The angle between two vectors, a and b, is given by cos theta equals the dot product of a and b over the magnitude of a and the magnitude of b. For example, find the angle between 3 minus 2 and 1, 7. We use our formula. First, we need a dot b, which equals ax times bx plus ay times by. ax is 3. bx is 1. ay is minus 2 and by is 7. 3 times 1 equals 3 and minus 2 times 7 equals minus 14. 3 take away 14 equals minus 11. To find the magnitude of a, we use Pythagoras. We square root ax squared plus ay squared. 3 squared equals 9 and minus 2 squared equals 4. The magnitude of a equals the square root of 13. The magnitude of b is found by doing Pythagoras with vector b. We have the square root of bx squared plus by squared. 1 squared equals 1 and 7 squared equals 49. The magnitude of b equals the square root of 50. We can now put these values into our formula. a dot b equals minus 11. The magnitude of a equals the square root of 13 and the magnitude of b equals the square root of 50. Now this is equal to cos theta and we want theta. To remove cos to leave theta, we need to use inverse cos which we use on our value above. Evaluating this on a calculator, we get theta equals 116 degrees. The angle between the two vectors is 116 degrees. In this example, we find the angle between 2, 5 and minus 4, minus 1. A dot B is found first. AX is 2, BX is minus 4, AY is 5, and BY is minus 1. 2 times minus 4 equals minus 8, and 5 times minus 1 is minus 5. Minus 8 minus 5 equals minus 13. The magnitude of A is found by Pythagoras with 2 squared plus 5 squared. 2 squared equals 4 and 5 squared equals 25. 4 plus 25 equals 29. The magnitude of B equals the square root of minus 4 squared plus minus 1 squared. Minus 4 squared equals 16 and minus 1 squared equals 1. 16 plus 1 equals 17. A dot B equals minus 13. The magnitude of A equals the square root of 29 and the magnitude of B equals the square root of 17. To find theta, we use inverse cos on this expression. On the calculator, this gives us 126 degrees. Here we find the angle between 3, 4 and minus 8, 6. AX is 3, BX is minus 8, AY is 4 
and by is 6. 3 times minus 8 equals minus 24, and 4 times 6 equals 24. Therefore, a dot b equals 0. Since a dot b equals 0, we don't need to find the magnitude of a or the magnitude of b. a dot b equals 0. We can leave magnitude of a and magnitude of b. Because the numerator is 0, this fraction is worth 0. To get theta, we do inverse cos of 0. This equals 90 degrees. The vectors meet at 90 degrees. We say that the vectors are perpendicular. This is a special rule for vectors. If the dot product of two vectors is 0, we end up with inverse cos of 0, which is 90 degrees. Therefore, two vectors are perpendicular if their dot product is equal to 0. Visit mathsathome.com for further videos and practice.